Then I friend the double sided tape. James, do you have any particular nut width that you want? No. Because if that one particular neck you really like, you could just replicate that nut width. Oh, yeah. Evan, any particular? <clears throat> Whatever's on uh, normal for clearance width. Actually, probably the nut width you were talking about that you prefer. Uh, 1.650, that uh, lightning walnut ham tone is 1.65. Okay. It's just a little bit narrower. I find it to be quite cozy to hold on to. Now I'll line this up again. My markings. This is Similar to before, I'll take an orange clamp. Over top of the table, squish it down. set so it's the same height as the uh, template. careful when you take these off just to make sure that you didn't actually uh, break your fingerboard in half. Can't happen. So if you want to play it safe and just use a spatula to separate it, you can. But then, look at this, and it looks pretty alright. My center line looks kind of funny, but uh, so now I've got my taper cut. The, the fretboard is longer than uh, the actual fretboard is going to have to be on the guitar. This little end here I'll probably have to plane it down a bit but uh, I know that there's four inches from my body joint to my sound hole so I'll just measure and so there's this last little bit I'll have to just plane. So what I'll do is I'll take it This is the kind of task that you definitely want to clamp because you, uh, take the take the template, slide it back along the lines. You could, but the thing is, the template's tapered. Well, yeah, but you have you have this straight edge, right? Yeah. So you move that straight edge back. Yeah. 
follow I've actually got a couple uh, templates back there that are longer too. We can so use them as well. Tie it on there and then just nip it. It'll be pretty easy though, I'll show you. Um, I have my 14th fret. That's 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 4 inches. That's, that's my center hole right there. So I'll just trim it off right here. Very little at the end there. So you, know, you can even just take a plane and turn that. Plane that. is we'll figure out exactly where the fretboard sits on the guitar relative to the body. We'll radius it and then we'll put the inlays in afterwards because that way in case you have two at the 12 you don't want to sand through them. So I'll usually radius it first then do the inlays. So makes sense?